Ooh, I got some heat for all of you frickers today. What's going on, people? Welcome back to the Esports Talk Show. You know, I just realized, frick, F, uh, uh, last video, my team leader was like, maybe you shouldn't call the audience frickers. And then there I am doing it two or three times. But I hope you guys all enjoy. As per usual, I want to say a huge shout to Creator Economics, a podcast with Reed, Blake Robbins, and their latest guest, that being Nade Shot. I will link them down below. If you guys like insight on YouTube and anything gaming, as well as the background details of what they even call in the name of the podcast, Creator Economics, these are some of the brightest minds on the YouTube platform and tied to some of the biggest creators and players in the game. I will link it down below. You guys should check it out. But why we're here today is because Reed on this podcast actually helps manage several top creators out there, Mr. Beast being one of them, who we talked about way in the past. Mr. Beast hinting at actually wanting a League of Legends team, and now it's Nade Shot on this podcast. Apparently has been talking to Jimmy, that being Mr. Beast, and Reed just flat out asks him, you know, would owning a League of Legends team be a mistake? Here's what Nade Shot had to say. Let's get up and around the green. So Jimmy and I, Jimmy actually, he, he kind of spilled the beans on this a couple months ago uh, about something that him and I were digging into. And, and we we talked to you about it when you came up for Creator Games in North Carolina, mm -hmm. which totally appreciate you and Jack coming out to do that. Uh, and, you know, him and I, he wasn't supposed to tweet this out. And he knows that. But he tweeted out that him and I, or he was looking at getting a League of Legends team. And it's something him and I have spoken about for about two years. And so now we're in all these conversations about NALCS, LEC, LCK, like all these different leagues. Is it a mistake for Jimmy to get involved in League of Legends? You've been in it for two years. Should we just turn around and run? As a co-owner of a North American LCS team with absolutely no bias at all, I, th I, I, I think it's the best idea ever to be a part of competitive League of Legends, whatever region that might be. I think it's even better that he tweeted out about it. I mean, I can't imagine the deals that you guys have in your email <laughs> inbox right now. Like, trust me, I get it. Uh, but man, I, I'll tell you what, I believe in League of Legends. I believe in Riot. I mean, this is a game that has really influenced a lot of big time publishers and developers to make some pretty poor decisions in gaming, right? Like the success of League of Legends has caused people to try to force games into being a competitive title that they think can stick around for a decade or more. And uh, I think League of Legends is here to stay for a very, very, very long time. And especially when it has such an impact, it does at a global level, uh, captures audiences from many different backgrounds all around the world. I just don't see how it can fail. And uh, I believe in North America, I think one day it can be a region that can win. I know you and Jimmy mentioned that you, you want to be a part of a team or start your own team or buy into an organization that can win right now. Mm -hmm. um, and Jackson was trying to convince Jimmy that over for like over an hour, Jackson would not stop talking. I just don't think your goals for this year are realistic. And I'm like, Jackson, shut the hell up. But uh, Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't hear any of that. Like nothing is impossible yeah, right? as, he yeah. as, as he shouldn't. Um, but I, I think League of Legends would be a great investment. And especially if Jimmy plays the game in his free time and and really loves the culture around the game and 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 the the players in the game i i think it's nothing but uh, a great decision yeah well I, I that's agree. all i have to say about that we'll see 2021 <laughs> will be an interesting year for jimmy in terms of what he does but league of legends is definitely high on the list probably Dude, not man, 2021 north america 2022 north america, season man. Yeah. Even if you're against us, bro, I'd love to right. see it. Right, give it to oh, me. It takes too long to develop talent. Like, <laughs> NA needs to win its first Worlds. Like, I don't care if the Reddit's on fire. We need more international players in NA. We're handicapped. That's the one thing yeah. that's holding us back from buying an NA team right now. I think that's what's really interesting, too, in comparison to, like, uh, traditional sports, right? Because if your favorite NBA team or NFL team goes into a, a year of rebuilding, people, they know that in the offseason before, and they expect that. And you have to give GMs credit for being in a tough position, whether the budgets get cut or they just don't have the opportunity to sign the best players. But organizations, down to the fans, they know that this is a year for rebuilding. Hopefully, we're going to get a draft spot. I think that's the one thing that's like the biggest hurdle in my mind about investing in younger talent and in, in years that are rebuilding is that the audience has a very uh, a short-term memory, right? Uh, or a short-term uh, attention span. And they want you to win now, but they also want you to develop talent. And then some years, you like, you, it, there's just no opportunities. I mean, we only have two import spots in North America. 
and teams have relationships with other uh, general managers and other opportunities with other players on other teams. And so, you know, you can try as hard as you can to sign the best players, but, you know, it, sometimes it's just not in the cards. Um, but even if you perform poorly, you don't get that number one draft spot or better odds for a draft spot for like the best up and coming talent coming out of college. So it really is on the organizations themselves to go and pinpoint those young players that are coming up through the ranks, like the 15, 16, 17 year old kids that might be tomorrow's future. Um, but it, it's just not as easy as it sounds. Uh, but yeah, 2022, man, let's go. Mr. Beast, jump on in North America. Let's go, baby. We'll, we'll have a good hundred thieves, Mr. Beast gaming rivalry going on. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I just I and of course I gotta hype this up, guys, because you know, all right. In order to uh, stay in esports and gaming, we're an esports news outlet. We love some views. I just want you guys all to imagine if Mr. Beast eventually could be an esports org owner. I think he actually wants to be Beast Gaming, is what he's been hinted at. He's had jerseys teased for as well. He's worn in videos, and he is very heavily hinted at wanting a League of Legends team. Reed goes on to say, though, 2021 is probably not going to happen. So maybe 2022. We could be seeing this happen, but if that is the case, you know, could they be developing new talent? Do they throw money at a big roster out there? Of course, Nade Shot, very bullish, as I think just about everyone is on League of Legends as the prime number one esport. Riot Games obviously doing tremendous things there, and even more tremendous things with Valorant. It kind of leads me to wonder, though, once you sign a League of Legends roster, yo, Jimmy, you know, why stop there? So obviously Nade Shot does not think League of Legends is a mistake, probably one of their better and probably their biggest investment to date so far. And I think a lot of us can agree, yes, I love CSGO. You've seen tremendous rises from other games out there that still do very well. Call of Duty uh, is certainly on the rise. There are a lot of esports that are struggling, but I think that a majority of us would agree the number one esport viewership wise and player base wise probably is League of Legends. I don't know if there's really much arguing that. So is it a mistake? No. Will Mr. Beast be in there next year? Most likely not. But does he really want to be in there? Like, was he really being for real? Yes. And so I will end on this, guys. Can you imagine Mr. Beast joins League of Legends, maybe gets an esports organization, maybe around the same time Dr. Disrespect joins Call of Duty League, and maybe he starts something up as well. There are going to be a lot of big names out there joining esports and gaming, not just celebrities, not just rappers and artists and NBA and, and NFL players, but also giant creators that we know and love could be joining the space. And I think that could be really healthy for all of us. And you, you guys know I would love that. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine one day Mr. Beast wakes up his own esports organization and he and he just calls out someone for being a hoodie selling organization? Now who would do that? Until next time. Hope you guys all enjoy. Right? Drink that wah, drink that ka, or drink whatever you want. Stay hydrated. I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Take care.